Hey guys, I want to welcome you back to the channel. My name's Justin, and you're watching Survival Mindset. Today I will be using the 18.5 inch classic pit barrel cooker. I want to thank them for sending this out to me. The pit barrel cooker is a family run business. Stay tuned to the channel. I will have the pit barrel cooker smoking and lit over the summer. Be sure to check out the links I provide below and let them know Survival Mindset sent you. This will be my first cook using the pit barrel cooker. Today's menu is chicken breast with garlic bread and vegetables. So join me through the cook and crack open a cold adult beverage. This is gonna be off the hook. I'm gonna fill this completely up. The rest of the charcoal I'm gonna dish out with my hand and put it into the charcoal chimney. So I got my base right here all covered in everything. I do like to add any kind of wood flavoring chips to it. Today's choice is gonna be the mesquite. So I am gonna sprinkle a little bit of those in there. And then after I get my other charcoals on top of these, I'll do the same. I'll sprinkle a bunch of wood chips the mesquite wood chips on top of those. Now our choice in barbecue sauce today is gonna to be the Cabela's competition barbecue sauce. This is the sweet onion applewood barbecue sauce. It's an excellent choice. I've had it in the past before. It's outstanding guys. I recommend it highly. Also Pit Barrel Cooker did send me over some of their rub. So we are gonna be doing a barbecue sauce along with the rub. This is actually a really thick barbecue sauce. Um, the onions are really thick in here as well. So if you do like onions, this is definitely the way to go. So I'm just going to smear this all over on the top. Let it drizzle down the sides. You really want to give it a good coating a couple times um, throughout your cook. And this is what it's looking like. It's... This barbecue sauce really smells good, by the way. I mean, you can smell this barbecue sauce right out of the jar. So everything's coated pretty good. Um, I am going to be basting it in a few minutes, but I do want to add some of the rub on top of the barbecue sauce. So we'll just slightly drizzle this over our chicken. I do have a basting brush. We're going to baste this on here and... Get it all lathered up here. And sometimes I do marinate this. It just all depends, you know. Um, my wife's going to be joining us on this barbecue in probably a few minutes or an hour from now. Um, she had to work today, so we're going to have a bunch of cocktails. I do want to flip these over and coat this side as well. all locked and loaded right here. I'll be placing this in the bottom. It's time for these chicken breasts to go on. We got the temperature just right and we're gonna be smoking guys check this out look at this look at these chicken breasts right here my wife just got home we're going to be adding some more barbecue sauce um, to all the chicken the cabela sweet onion apple barbecue sauce one of them I'm not going to be adding no barbecue sauce because what are we doing with those, babe? Making burritos tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to have leftovers and we're going to be making burritos and with guacamole and all that good stuff. But today is the chicken, 
And I'm going to beast it one more time, then pop the lid on for about 10 minutes, and then let these sit. The pit barrel cooker did an amazing job, which is right behind me. It's pretty hot out here today, so me and my wife aren't going to be eating out here or anything. But I do want to open a beer. This is a steelhead right here from Mad River Brewing. Excellent choice in beer, so... I'm gonna crack this one open right now. Cheers, YouTube. Now, I do wanna show you what I cooked. Like I said, it's really hot out here, so I'm not eating that much today. My wife got the vegetables. I didn't. I went with the garlic bread, of course. I love garlic bread. And this chicken, let me tell you, this turned out off the hook. Look at that. Just really good. I don't have no silverware down here because I'm going to eat in the shade. But, mmm, that is delicious. So we're going to be using the pit barrel cooker a lot in the future. Stick around for the videos. We'll have a lot out this summer. I'm smoking some good food. And thanks for watching. You're watching Survival Mindset. Peace out.